I want you to know that every one of us has a different thread to you and with you. And we are here in support of you, weaving a tapestry, a cloak to cover and protect you with love and support that you can wear whenever and however you want, good times and bad, cherish you very much. And so instead of an opening statement, I'm thinking maybe vows would be appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan and Rachel, marriage is not to be entered into lightly but with certainty, with mutual respect, and with a sense of reverence, which does not preclude humor or joy. But love is not meant to be the possession of two people alone. Cheers. 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 Rather, it should serve as a source of common energy, as a form in which you find the strength to live your lives with courage. From this day onward, you must love one another in sickness and in health, for better and for worse. But at the same time, your love should give you the strength to stand apart, to seek out your unique destinies, to make your special contribution to the world, which is always part of us, but more than us. Ryan, it is so easy to love you, and there are so many reasons why it'll be. You're so smart. You know so much about the world and how it works, and I learn something new from you every day. You are kind. You care so much about your family, friends, and community, and I feel so lucky to be a main recipient of that kindness. You are compassionate. You care about those less fortunate than us and are engaged in political and social issues that affect those that we love as well as those that we don't yet know. You are tall, so tall. <laughs> you are generous in every aspect of the word. You are funny, making me laugh at times when I need it most. And you are the best person in the world to talk to. No matter what happens during my day, big or small, happy or sad, you are the person that I want to tell and I value your opinion above all else. Perhaps one of your most unique and best qualities is how you support and lift up those around you. This trait of yours manifests itself in so many ways. With me, you are never competitive, even though we are in the same profession and it would be easy to compare and judge each other's successes and failures. With your friends and colleagues, you mentor and celebrate career and personal advances without a hint of jealousy or comparison to yourself. And with your families and loved ones, you show up. How are you doing this? I, what? Just like this. This is terrible. Ready? Ready? All right. Oh, oh, okay. That's not gonna work. Did you get it? Yeah. Right. You support all of us when we need it without judgment. but instead with love, kindness, compassion, and generosity. I'm so grateful for who you are and that I get to spend every day for the rest of my life with you. I promise to love you each day with the same respect, kindness, and humor that you have shown me from the moment I met you. Thank you for bringing your wonderful community of family and friends into my life. I love you with all of my heart and will love you for the rest of my days. You've been my family for a long time, but I'm excited to officially become your wife.
the authority vested in me as a judge of the state of Washington, we pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss each other. <laughs> Rachel, about two weeks after you and I started dating, couldn't have been more than two weeks, we were hanging out in your old apartment and there was a moment of silence between us, which is admittedly extremely rare. And I, I started noticing that you were humming this song to yourself and it sounded really familiar. And I, I listened to it, let you go for a few more bars, and realized that, that the song was something like, dum dum da dum, da dum da dum. I let you go for a little while longer until I just couldn't take it anymore, and I, I, I finally turned to you and said, Rich. Are you humming Here Comes the Bride? <laughs> I made fun of you for it. I may have texted a few people about it. But what I didn't tell you at the time was that I was thrilled. Because <clears throat> you saw the potential for the future with me. <laughs> Rach, I love your smile, your laugh, your sense of humor especially when you think that people are laughing with you, <laughs> despite all evidence to the contrary. I love your intelligence, your wisdom, your thoughtfulness, even if it means that I'm signing up for a lifetime of being the second best lawyer in my own house. I love that you taught me what it means to trust, confide in, and rely on somebody fully and completely even though you came along at a time in my life when I seriously wondered whether that was ever in the cards for me. And I love that all of the things that I cherish about you are a reflection of the amazing extended family that raised you and made you who you are. Just one quick look around us today is a very easy demonstration of how unbelievably lucky we've been. And I can't promise that that luck will never run out. But I do know that every single person who is here today who loves you would agree with me about one thing. Rachel Dunnington's defining characteristic is unflinching and unwavering support for the people that she loves. No matter the challenges, no matter the circumstances. And so what I can promise you today is to try to live up to your example. No matter the challenges, no matter the circumstances, I will stand with you, support you, and love you unflinchingly and unwaveringly. You are beautiful today and every day. You are the best thing that ever happened to me, and I love you so much. <laughs>